Welcome back. We are here looking at the indices, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Wednesday, April 20, 2022. If you like support our channel, you are going to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button, the bell button to see our newest videos, and let's get to it. So we'll start by looking at the NASDAQ, and as you can see, we did a rally or breakdown quite a bit in the beginning of the session down to 13.8k and then rallied all the way up to the 50 moving average before pulling back quite slightly so we're up at one point to 27 percent and that's fairly good as basically um gives an indication that we may go and retest the 50 moving average even though we have been rejected several times uh, this may well be as far as we go if you look at for example the fibonacci retracements and for this then we should be around give or take 61.8 around this area so we kind of bounce from the 61.8 and that could be an indication that we'll go higher from here if that is the case and then we could also expect this to be a flag uh, a head and shoulder pattern that we've been talking about shoulder head shoulder and that basically means that if we break then we'll just see something similar to this but we need to get past this so that is basically this top here this top here and the 200 moving average we have to basically have to break above so earnings have been mixed netflix just put out their earnings uh, and they are absolutely horrible uh, pre-market for netflix is uh, minus 23 um, percent mainly due to the fact that they lost the 200,000 subscriber and are expected to lose additional 2 million subscribers um, in the coming year. And that is absolutely horrible. And uh, if earnings for these major tech companies uh, are is gonna be that bad, then uh, this scenario here will most likely not hold. It's more likely that we will see a massive drop down to the downside. If we do, and then we need to take out um, roughly 12.8k which is the low here and after that we'll basically make another uh, lower low so we made one here wait one here and then we'll probably have another one there and we'll drop down here if you look at technical indicators we can see the macd is uh, still bearish but it looks like it is about to round off and do something similar to that if we get rejected here then we'll drop even further and we'll see this scenario uh, play out we may also bounce from this bottom here that is also possible if you look at the stochastic we can see that it has crossed the signal line and is entering above negative territory that is a bullish shine and then we also have the rsi which is at this point bullish so let's look at the s p 500 so a very similar setup here but this is even more bullish so we broke below the 50 moving average down to 14, uh, 4,378. Rallied all the way up towards the 4,471 and then uh, settled at give or take 4,447. So this is above the 50 moving average. It has also bounced from the 50 Fibonacci retracement and is also looking like a head and shoulder pattern. So here we basically need to break above these tops break above the 200 moving average yet again and then we will go significantly higher uh, if we break below this candlestick here then we may drop back towards the low and the question is whether or not we will stay within this range or we break uh, this um, support and go significantly lower so similar to the nasdaq we will make another low and continue with basically this um, this downtrend so that is the that is kind of what we're looking at a, a rally a break below support or probably a bounce from support that is also possible at this point it is still uh, more bullish than it is bearish as this candlestick here looks like it bounced off the 50 fibonacci if you look at technical indicators we can see that macd is still bearish in bullish territory and kind of rounding off so we may see something similar to this if it goes uh, if it rallies and if not it will continue going down stochastic has crossed the signal line and is becoming bullish and the rsi is also bullish at this current stage 
So if we look at the Dow Jones, this is far more bullish than both the, the NASDAQ and also the S&P 500. Here we have rallied up towards the 200 moving average and got rejected there, trading at the uh, 34.8K. And uh, yes, we're basically in within this range here. Uh, breaking above the 200 moving average, then this will go significantly higher. Breaking below here, it will go significantly lower. Also, head and shoulder pattern showing up in this um, this chart. Need to break this. We need to break that. And after that, we will go significantly higher. If not, if we get basically break below here, then we most likely will uh, revisit the very lows here. And in the case of breaking this support, then we will most likely make another low. So similar to that, and we'll get a similar set setup as we have for the S&P 500 and the NASDAQ. So this will basically drop all the way down here. If you look, but that is uh, the bearish outlook. It's not even close to that. At this point, it looks more like we are going to rally. And if you also look at technical indicators, they are definitely turning around. You can see the MACD is about to cross the signal line. We'll most likely do something similar to that. And then that will be indication that we will probably will break above the, uh, the 200 moving average. Stochastic is also becoming very bullish and the RSI is also bullish at this point. So far more bullish um, and far more um, probability that this uh, head and shoulder pattern uh, will hold. If you look at the DAX, DAX did rally yet again today, but we need to break above the 50 moving average. Um, it looks like it's going to do something similar to this and then we get rejected. That basically means that we'll go and head back towards the very lows here and breaking below this and then this was this is going to go significantly lower the next real res um, uh, support is all the way down here so this is roughly around 11.5 k so that will be a significant drop for the dax on the other hand if we manage to break above the 50 moving average then we will test the 200 moving average which will come this way around 15k that is probably also a significant barrier that we have to uh, cross as you can see here support at 50 was here it was here 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 and so on so previous support is now resistant so that it will be definitely an area that will uh, defy whether or not we continue rallying with the Nasdaq or we break down. If we get rejected here, and then we may as well head back towards uh, the previous lows here and then we'll end up within this channel. So there's a lot of, um, there's a lot of uh, uh, negativity in the European market. It is not as close as bullish as the, as the US market um, uh, for many reasons. Uh, expectations for uh, economic growth in Europe are also much less than they are in the U.S. Uh, if you look at the if you look at technical indicators, we can see the MACD is uh, bearish at this point, but it's still flat underneath the signal line. We can see that the stochastic is turning around here, and the RSI is flat. So, technically, we are just waiting whether or not we rally to the upside or basically break to the downside. If you look at the VIX it is still trading within this range here so we need to basically break above or break below breaking above and then we will see the stocks tumble if we break below here then we will see stocks rally or just um, dropping back towards the support we will see stocks rally but it's not until we basically get into um, uh, 18 or something like that that we'll get into the major rallies back to the very highs if we break below uh, up here uh, then we will see uh, this um, we will see uh, tech stock especially and these disease it uh, drops significantly it's if you look out here kind of looks like we are doing a round off and going to higher levels that is kind of like what this signals and uh, due to the fact that there's so much uncertainty in the world economy uh, I wouldn't be surprised if we saw 
much more volatility going forward uh, when considering uh, inflation, interest rates, um, quantitative easing, and also the war in, in Eastern Europe. If you look at technical indicators for the VIX, we can see the MACD is, uh, is bullish in bearish territory. Stochastic is turning around, becoming bearish, and the RSI is bearish. So this is technically mixed at this point. If you look at the 10-year, it has rallied all the way up towards 2.940. And we have basically haven't been to this level since we have to go all the way back to 2018 to see these levels. Uh, this has gone parabolical and uh, at this current stage we are expecting a major pullback uh, towards uh, the 220 uh, moving average which will mostly will go this way and then we'll rally if we break below here then we have the 50 down here and then we can rally from there and breaking below that then we have the 200 which will go this way and then we'll probably rally from there uh, expectation for this to drop below that is very low. Most likely we'll bounce from the 20 exponential or the 50 as this is significantly overstretched at this point. MACD is still bullish, stochastic is still bullish, but the RSI is significantly overbought and therefore expectations of a fall uh, are quite high at this at this point. So hope you find it helpful. Give us a the channel by subscribing, hit the like button and the bell button to see our new videos and good luck and thank you very much.